Alright guys, today uh, in today's video we're going to show you guys my Galaxy S3 and I'm going to show you guys how to do a bunch of stuff here. This is going to uh, do multiple things. We're going to actually root the device, we're going to unlock the bootloader, and we're going to install custom recovery um, all throughout this video. This is the three steps we're going to be running on it. Let me just show you guys what I'm running on this right now. Um, we're going to go to settings and just show you guys about phone and right here you can see that I am on Android version 4.1.2 which is Jelly Bean and it is the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3 you can see my build number all that good stuff right there so you want to be running obviously this to be doing this um, procedure this is going to use a program called Odin uh, to do it so uh, one of the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you install the Samsung drivers for this device and connect your device to the computer with the cable and then you're going to want to make sure that you guys do a couple things here you want to go in here and go into developer options make sure that USB debugging is checked and then you're going to want to go into um, connections right here and make sure that you click on both these modes and let the drivers install on for each one it takes a little bit for each one and click on the other mode let the drivers install for that one and that makes sure that your drivers are all installed correctly so once you do that I'm going to go ahead and go to my computer and show you guys the files you're going to be using and how we're going to do this um, I'm actually going to leave this thing plugged in right now, so just set it down like it is, and we'll get back to it here. Alright guys, so the files you guys are going to need are, you're going to need this Odin file right here, which is Odin 3.07, and you're going to need your Samsung drivers right here, you're going to need this twerp, uh, tar.md5, which installs twerp recovery for you guys. You're going to want to have Super Slu Bootloader Fixed file, and you're going to want to have these right here, these different uh, boot chains. Um, actually, a couple, well, I think it's these three right here, these three boot chains right here. So you want basically all of these files. So there's a whole bunch of files in there you're going to want to have um, on your device. This one right here you actually want to install to the device right there so we're actually going to make sure that we can install that to our device so we know where it's at on our SD card okay so now we've got it put into zips folder on my device right here close that back out so as you guys can see we need all these files right here all the way down. So what we're going to start with first is we're going to extract your Odin um, and make sure everything you get here is all extracted and looks like these .tar md5s. And once you extract Odin it's going to look like this right here and you're going to click to run Odin. Before we do that though let's get our phone into download mode. So let me guys show you guys how to do that. To get the phone in download mode you're going to go ahead and power off the device. Okay, wait for it to power off. Then you're going to hold the volume down button on the side. You're going to hold your power or your home button right here on the bottom. And then you're going to hold your power button. So hold these two, then power. And it's going to come up to a screen. Should give you a warning. Let go of them, all three at the same time. It tells you about warning about flashing your system, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to push volume up. And you are going to be in Odin mode slash download mode. From here, you can go ahead and connect your USB cable to your computer. And you may, you may need to sync and install some drivers at this point. Um, if you haven't already done this already, and then you can set your phone down. All right, so we're back to the computer here and we're in download mode on the phone we're gonna go ahead and click on the Odin program and make sure that it says right here that you are on COM4 this means that your device is connected right there 
that's just a good way to kind of check that. Then we're going to want to flash a file here. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to go ahead and flash is the V V uh, V Ralph, I think that's how you say it. I, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, so we're just going to go find it. I'll show it to you here. It is this one, V Ralph C boot chain. This is the file you guys are going to want to flash first. So you're just going to click on it under the PDF stuff and hit open. And it goes ahead and just verifies some stuff here that this is okay to flash. And all we got to do then is it is under the PDA option here. It says auto reboot and F dot reset timer is both checked. And you go ahead and hit start. Alright, so we're just going to let this thing go ahead. It's doing the boot couple different files here and resetting device so here's the device is booting back up after you just flash the V R A L E C boot chain so the device is rebooting so we're gonna let this go ahead and reboot and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step okay the device finished rebooting here guys it just says no sim because I don't have a sim this right now. So we're going to boot the phone back off again. Power off. Hit OK. And we're going to boot back into Odin mode again. Hold your volume down. Your home. Power. Go ahead and recommend uh, closing out the uh, program and actually re -enter, re re uh, restarting uh, Odin. So I just closed it out and I'm going to restart it and then we'll plug in here. So let's go ahead and plug in and we'll restart uh, the Odin program here. There we go. Okay, so you can see that we restarted um, and we are connected right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit PDA. Okay, so from here guys, we're going to actually select the Torp recovery image we have, which is, this is what we're using right here, this Torp recovery image. Um, which is a tar.md5 and this is going to flash twerp for us so we're going to hit open and it's very important that you don't hit the auto reboot so make sure that's not checked right there if it's checked it won't work correctly so at this point we're connected we have our file it's been verified go ahead and hit start our phone is in download mode like you guys saw hit start and it's doing the recovery image Right, NAN right start. Reset OK. And it just finished flashing. So at this point, what we're gonna do, okay, so the last thing it should say down here is reset OK. Once it says that on in Odin, so we can go ahead and unplug our cable here. And that's just disconnected us from the uh, Odin programming. We're going to take our back cover off and pull our battery out and let the phone turn off put the battery back in put the cover back on the device click everything back in and then we're gonna boot into recovery mode so to boot into recovery mode what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold volume up this time home and power and then you're gonna see a flash in the top corner and then you're gonna let go of power and you can see it says custom there, it's unlocked. And you just keep holding the volume up and the home button until you hit recovery. Just keep holding them. Okay, so there you go, that's twerp recovery. Okay, now that we're in custom recovery, we're just going to go ahead and go to installs. And this is the super user or Super Sue dash bootloader fixed zip that you guys downloaded which unlocks the bootloader and installs super user and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and flash it and that is the root unlock bootloader file then go ahead and hit reboot and it's going to reboot your device so there you go there is the Galaxy S3 logo and let's let this thing reboot and we'll go to the next step 
Okay, so as you can see, our device is finished booting up. And I'm just going to show you guys that we have super user right there. So that gives us our root permission. I already checked it with ES File Manager, um, or File Explorer, I should say, to make sure that root permission did function correctly on here. So it does. And you saw we had custom recovery. And basically, you can get into custom recovery now anytime you want. If something goes bad with your phone, ROM flash is bad, anything like that, you can go ahead, power off, hold home, volume up, power, until you get a boot screen or a boot logo. Let go power, hold the other two, it'll boot into Torp Recovery, and you can figure out or fix whatever your guys' problems are on this device. So that's very, very exciting, and it should have an unlocked bootloader now as well, so you can flash custom kernels and all those goodies like that. Um, this does uh, trip your flash counter, but this can always be fixed with Triangle Away. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to boot back into Oda mode again. So we're going to power off, and we're going to restore our normal boot chain on this device um, so that we have the correct partitions and everything is how it's supposed to be on this device. And that's going to be done with the Odin program. So we're going to get back into Odin mode. Go ahead and home, volume down, power, and until you get that, and volume up to select and plug into your computer into your computer with the cable and then let's now here I'm going to show you right up right up here there you can see right there it says yes one count that is your flash counter being has been tripped that's where you can check and see that alright and it does say everything is custom now instead of stock or official like that all those things have changed up there so let's go ahead and restore our normal boot chain so let's open Odin and do that right now so I like to go ahead and just keep restarting restarting this program whenever I do something different with it. Just I just think it's a better way to do it. So we're going to open Odin, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and try to restore our boot chain. And that can be done by clicking the PDA button. And we got to find the boot chain we need. So let's look. I want to look right here really quick. We need the 4.1.2 boot chain, which is the BMB1. So we're going to open it up, and we need BMB1, this one right here. Hit open, and it's just going to verify that right here. Looks like everything is correct, so go ahead and hit uh, start. And it's going to go ahead and redo that boot chain, and reset and reboot the device. So as you can see here, the device is rebooting. And now it has back to the stock Jelly Bean boot chain. So there you go. That is the full tutorial. That just gave you custom recovery, root access, unlock bootloader, and you're back to the stock boot chain for this device uh, for Jelly Bean. 4.2.1. So that's the Samsung Galaxy S3 tutorial here for you. Hope you guys liked it. Um, that is it. That wraps it up right there. Please follow me right here at RootJunkie.com. Lots of great goodies on there all the time. You can check me out here at Twitter or Facebook. And as always, uh, I'm glad you guys could watch this. Hope you guys learned something from it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.